Hi guys, this is Marla from Inward Office. I'm just coming on here today to show you. Nope, I don't like that. Let's start again from the beginning. All right. Hi guys. Hi, I'm Marla from Inward Office. I want to share with you some of your options on how to connect and use uh, the controls in your Zoom meeting. So right now you can see I have three of my devices connected to this room. So we have the host over here who's in Word Office and then two participants. And so right now we're on gallery view, which means we can see everybody in the class like we're in a classroom. Now I can also change to speaker view where I'm only seeing the host. Um, and if you're in a fitness class, that's the best view uh, to see only the host. And this is the same control you'll find on a um, tablet, on an iPad, or what you might find on your phone. Uh, the computer view is always going to be a little better because of the size of the screen. Okay, so I've got my gallery view, my speaker view. I've also got a full screen option. Oops, let's go back. Full screen option or not a full screen option. Okay, and then I can see here the participants in my class. When I hit participants, right, I can see everyone that's here. And when I go to this option, right, I can see who I am and I can go to the more option and rename myself. So let's say I sign on and I'm on my iPad that is my daughter's and it says, you know, Shelby's iPad. Well, maybe I get to class and I choose I want to be myself again. So I'll type my name in, rename myself, and then I'm good to go. Right. I also have the option. You can see that little. Um, microphone and a camera, you can see who is muted and who is using their video. So I always have the option to turn on my video, to turn it off. I have the option to mute and unmute. Um, and so also we have some nonverbal feedback. I can raise my hand in class and the instructor may see it. It's possible. Um, our instructors do our best through the class to uh, check in if they have time. Otherwise, at the start and the end of class is really when we're seeing what's going on with participants. Other nonverbal feedback. We have hand clap. You can see in the reactions, thumbs up. So perhaps you're not interested in turning on your video or turning on your audio. You can always do the nonverbal feedback. Or last option is chat. So I have a choice here to chat with everyone, to chat only with the instructor, or maybe someone else that's in the class privately. Okay. Okay, and so here I can write thank you to the instructor for class. And those are really our best ways of interacting, using our audio and or our video, using our nonverbal feedback, hand clap and thumbs up, and our chat box. So I highly recommend that when you get to class, you say hello to your instructor, turn on the video. You can even in, let's see where it is. You can even turn off your own video. Let me see where I put that or where the option is. <laughs> there is an option in here to even turn off your own video. Oh, here we go. When you have the gallery view, you can go to these little three dots and you can hide your self view. So maybe I don't want to see myself throughout it, so I can hide myself. And I find that can be useful because sometimes we have that um, self evaluation or self criticism going on through class. I know I participated in a Pilates class last night and I had my leg right in front of the camera and I was thinking about that like, oh, everyone's looking at my leg. And it can be challenging to feel comfortable in that situation. But, and if you're not feeling comfortable in your class sharing, you know, the way your body looks from whatever angle the camera's positioned, you know, feel free to turn it off. But I really highly recommend that you start at the beginning saying hello with the camera on to the instructor at the end. Um, turning on the camera, sharing your observations about class, how it went for you, and maybe getting a better picture of um, some of the scope of the class. You know, what are the benefits of practicing this on a weekly or daily basis? 
Uh, what are some other ways that we can vary the exercise to accommodate your personal um, limitations or your daily routine? Um, a lot of our poses can be accommodated in a chair or uh, you can add into your daily um, routine even at work. So we hope you join class. We hope you enjoy it. And let us know if you have any questions about how to use the software. Have a great day.